So this video explains how to calculate an estimate of population size based on some known variables in a population that will actually impact that population size. So let's say that you're given this question. You're studying a population of skunks and you know that the population size is 250. So during a one-year period you do some uh, um, you do some field work and you record 50 births in the population um, and 25 deaths. You're also recording five immigrants, that's individuals that have come into the population, but also five emigrants, so individuals that have left the population. And considering this estimate of R, which is a per capita growth rate, from these data project what the population size is going to be in five years. And you're given these, these choices to, to, to pick from. So a few equations that you will need to know to calculate this. The first one is the change in population based on births, deaths, immigration, emigration. And that's just the number of births minus the number of deaths added to the number of immigrants minus the number of emigrants. And that makes sense. That's just how many individuals are being added to the population and how many individuals are uh, being taken out of the population. Next, we want to look at this per capita growth rate represented by R. The way we calculate that is this change in population size, which is we're going to calculate here, um, divided by the change in time, divided by the original population size. So R is the per capita growth rate. Delta N is the change in population size in a given period of time, delta T. And N is the initial population size. The other equation that we need is this one here. This is the number you really want to calculate for the answer to this question. That's the population size at time t, and that's equal to n naught, which is the initial population size, times the natural logarithm to the power of r times t. And I'm going to show you how to do this on your calculator as well. But the initial population size we know um, and R, we're going to calculate, and we already we know T as well. So let's walk through this. But um, I did want to mention that sometimes you might see uh, the formula written this way rather than the formula that I'm giving you with the natural logarithm, and they're both used as estimates to calculate population size with respect to per capita growth rate. They're both valid estimates, although they give slightly different values. So we're going to start with this equation here. So let's just look at um, calculating delta n. So we have 50 births. We subtract 25 deaths. So births and deaths account for 25 individuals increasing the population. And we add that to 5 immigrants minus 5 emigrants, and that's going to be 0. So the total change in population size just from uh, birth, death, immigration, emigration is 25. Next, we're looking at the per capita growth rate. So we have delta N, which we calculated here, which is going to be 25, over delta T. So delta T is we're looking at, you know, one year period. Um, that's what happened, because that's what we measured in a one year period, the delta N over that one year period. Um, and then divided by the um, initial population size. So that gives us 25 divided by 1, and all of that divided by 250. So 25 divided by 250, which equals 0.1 per year, which is the per capita growth rate. So how much is it increasing, taking into consideration the population size? So when we're going to calculate the actual number, the population size at time t, we use this formula. So we know that the initial population size is 250, and we want to multiply that by the natural logarithm to the power of r, which we calculated as 0.1 from here, times t. And we're asked to project the population size in five years. So here, t is 5. And when we do that, we get 250 times the natural logarithm to the power of 0.5 which actually ends up being 412. So therefore the population size of the skunks would be 412 in five years. And so the answer here, of course, would be um, A. So I'm going to go through and show you how to calculate um, this on your calculator. 
So here I've opened up our scientific calculator and what we're going to do is just calculate simply this part here. Uh, so basically what we want to do is calculate the natural logarithm, natural logarithm rhythm uh, number first to make it quite a bit easier. So to do that we just put in point 5 and then we click on this e to the x, the x being the point 5 that we just put in and that's going to give us e to the power of 0.5. Okay, and then if we come back to our equation here, we see that this number here is 1.64872 and on. Then we need to multiply that number times 250, which is our initial population size. So we just multiply it by 250 and we get 412. And that's how we get the estimate of population size for this particular question um, in five years.